it's time to grab a cold one, kick back, and talk starry with these three special guests we have in our studio today. Jake Shimabukuro, Paka Colon, and our very own John Yamasato of the legendary and Hoku Hanohano award-winning multi-talented musical group, Pure Heart. Enjoy. I know, Kyle, you have 18 million questions for us. <laughs> Where can we start, the, uh, man? There's going to be a reunion at the Blue Note coming up. It is a Jake and Friends concert. It was one of these things Jake had scheduled a few shows at the Blue Note, and I guess uh, talked to his management. It's like, hey, what if uh, John Lilopaka came? So we'll be there on the 18th and 19th. Then we're also going to continue on to Kauai and Maui. Speaking <laughs> of new what is going on with you guys new album that you guys been doing for the past two and a half years well are we close to completion it's i mean like you're the beginning of COVID. COVID. yeah i mean it's i know covid is an excuse but come on we're out of it now you guys gonna need to finish well that's when we started it we started yeah. it yeah. during covid right. because How? because of you saying this i think we might get on the ball and get on the ball you guys people want to hear your new your new stuff you yeah know? yeah John's been it, writing a lot. I've, I've been putting some stuff down. So the kids nowadays say, like, you don't release albums anymore. You just do a single and a single and a single. I mean, we, we could do that. We have enough to kind of get going. But because, like, I had this vision of, a, of an album, you know, because because we do such a wide genre of music. Like, we, we have some country songs on there. Mm-hmm. We have some kind of pop stuff. And then there's there's always like latin feels with the mm. so when you but when you tie it all together it's like this nice theme of music you know like Molokai yeah. Sweet Home I love when we do that song and people will come up to Lopaka and be like I had no idea that he was making those sounds I just <laughs> thought it was in what you see back in the day when Martin Denny played a certain lick on on his piano and at Hilton Hawaiian Village there would be <clears throat> bullfrogs they would like like go, 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 do, do some yeah. so my dad would be just playing with them and do some like some weird like bird call or stuff but then they would answer back and in the middle of the tune where they're playing uh martin Dan was like hey man why don't you do this here and there and i mean you're talking about real frogs in the background yeah real outside. frogs outside interesting and so then that became a thing and then they went in the studio and he actually wrote it out charted where he's he wants my dad to do a certain bird call or animal call and then okay that's... okay come on so, sample sample yeah of it. i told him like oh you ever heard of a dove that's in, in heat and they're like what is that <laughs> <laughs> how does it go <laughs> Damn, I need a cigarette now. It sounds just like that. (laughs) Did you tell them, yeah, you guys are going to do a bird call? Did you just do it? No, they they wanted me to do it. Kyle, you you got to understand. I didn't want to do it. We used to play for like six hours at a time at my parents' house. Mm. And it's not because uh, we were um, like forced to. It's just because we just love to just jam. I was like, oh my God, like total time. (laughs) In that span of time when you're playing that long, Mm -hmm. you're going to think of like, hey, what if I did this? Or what if I did that? You know, like. I remember when we did our first like wedding or um, baby party and uh, people were like blown away because turn around and he'll, he'll be singing, a uh, zombie singing <laughs> Killy Ray Shell, you know, yeah. and like, whoa. And uh, everybody really, always like, says, kind of tripping out because he's, you know, because he's you John want to figure he, out. He looks like, like John. Like, right. But <laughs> the voice is like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I heard yeah. you on the radio for first, I didn't know who you were. Yeah. I thought you were like some big Hawaiian dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what everybody thought. That voice, you know? Like, I was like, oh. So I ain't got his voice, man. And That's then when I when I saw, it, I was like, huh? I mean, and, so, and a lot of it too, right? That people don't realize too is when John and I first started playing with you, you were already a professional oh, gigging yeah. musician. Oh, that's what they, no. you 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 had already recorded on records. You were like out there performing, right? So, but John yeah. and I, we were the two amateurs. Yeah. Lopaka was actively playing with the Robert Kikala band and uh, several other band, people. Mostly. Yeah, <laughs> He had an album called Kanak Attack yep. and he actually wanted my father to uh, be on the album. He called my dad up and he's like, oh, you know, I got my boy. He's at UH. He, he, so they called me up and I was like 19 um, at the time. Really? Period. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. We we interview tons of well-known you know artists here yeah. in, uh, just from these podcasts mm-hmm. and the majority of them mention you guys. Oh, wow. As their influence. Really? Well, yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I think the only reason why they come on this podcast is probably because of him. I mean, if we called him, they wouldn't show up. <laughs> no. It's because they're influenced, you know. Right. You know, I don't know. When you're in it, you don't think people are care or listen or whatever. I, I don't know. Yeah, you don't think that you're, you're becoming like a natural role model. 
yeah. sort of. But that's kind of sort of what's going on. Yeah. And <laughs> you don't realize it. Like the group, the, the Green and some other ones that uh, are popular nowadays. Yeah. Like I trip out. I remember they called me a couple years ago to do a, a white album with them. Uh, and so in the studio, they're like, man, do you know you guys, you, Jay, John? And you guys are like, if, if it wasn't for you guys, you guys were like one of the first like people that gave us, I mean, we were like an inspiration to them. Wow. And everything. And I was like, what? Really? Are you serious? Wow. 